Welcome guys, my name is Rick from Canine Solutions Dog Training Company. Uh, first off, let me thank you for purchasing the video you're about to see. In the following video, you're gonna see what we call the building the bond process. Uh, Kim has graciously allowed us to video some of her training progress with her dog, Magoo. And this was a little bit of her first day with us. Uh, she had con some concerns about the dog recalling back to her and jumping. So the first step we did was gonna just build this bond with her dog. It was all about the dog having the owner be the most rewarding thing in its life. And you'll see in the following clips how we built that process here. And you'll see Magoo transform a little bit from being very interested in the other dogs and the surroundings to only wanting Kim and her his life. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video. All right, Miss Kim, so I know when we did your interview, you talked a lot about having Magoo come back to you is high on your list for priority, correct? Yes. Like you want to say his name and he comes running back to you and everything's good and gravy and happy and go lucky, right? Right. So that's one of the most difficult things to train in a dog. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the reason being is he's got the world. He can just go sniff those flowers or go say hi to that dog or go run up to that person and say hi as well. So to do that, we have to be more valuable than the world, right? So we're gonna start that what's called a little bit of reward or marker training for him here. So we're gonna be offering him food, but at the same time, we're gonna be marking the time we give him the food. So first things first, we're gonna you just let him go a little bit and I'm gonna call his name, Magoo. And the minute he comes to me, yes. Now I'm not gonna mark him when he's up in the air. Yes, the minute he's down on the ground, I'm gonna offer him that food, okay? Because it, yes you may. Don't say anything. Right now, all we're doing is building a relationship with your dog, okay? Remember, we gotta be more valuable than out there. Okay. So right now, all we're doing is building a little bit of bond and we're using something he likes, food. Magoo. Yeah. We're gonna wait him out. Yes. So I'm not gonna give him anything when he's up on my legs here, because remember, we don't want any jumping either. That was high on your list as well, right? Yes. Good boy. Now you also wanna pay attention to my wording. All I'm saying is that word yes every single time that I'm marking his behavior. Yes, good boy. Magoo. Yes, good boy. Good job. Magoo. Yes, good job. Magoo. Yes. Good job. So all I'm doing right now is basically teaching him coming to me, which is not my dog, <laughs> is a good thing, right? Hey, every time that guy calls my name, he comes on over here, he gives me a little treat. It's a good thing for me to come back to. So now I want you to give it a couple tries. Nope, we're gonna use the word yes. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what we're gonna yes. use. Now I want you to pay attention. What's happening here? He's just debating whether to go to you or to you. Yeah, why? Because he knows you have food. Because I'm more valuable than you right now. <laughs> I'm the world, right? So you gotta be more valuable than me okay. right now. Okay? So think of me as the world. Hey, this guy's he's got food, mom. I'm staying with him. So now he's gotta to come to you. Okay. And that's where your leash is gonna help you. Now you can start oh. bringing there you go. Perfect. Good. Good. Now I want you to call him over. I'm going to ignore him. Let go. Let go. Use your leash. You're going to reel him in a little bit. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Good. Again. Now I want you to start moving around a little bit. I want to have him start following you around a little bit. Anytime he comes near you, call his name. Let go. Yes. Beautiful. Move around a little bit more. Call his name. Use your leash. Yes. Good. Excellent. Miss Kim has stated numerous times that uh, Mr. Magoo jumping up on people is a real big thing she wants to accomplish through training. She also brought up that he does it pretty much almost every time her guests are sitting. So we brought out a chair here and we're gonna have Miss Cassandra sit in the chair and try to reenact her guest at home and see if we can get Magoo to jump up on him. 
Now, if he does, we're gonna introduce correction here. We got one good effort earlier, and now we're gonna try to continue with it there. So let's see what happens with Magoo. Hey, Magoo, come here, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? So again, we're gonna use everything on leash. Remember, so if we don't have a leash, we can't correct them, right? Right now, we're too early for that verbal cue. And we're gonna grab our food so that we have something available to reward him when he does good. And let's see if he goes up to Miss Cassandra. Call him over to you. Yeah. Call him up. Hello. No. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Yes. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good. Come here. Yes. Now reach over and pet him. Good. Good. No. Yes. Good boy. Good job, Magoo. Good boy. There you go. Good. Once he's nice and calm, pet him. Go ahead. You can pet him now. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Awesome. It's your turn. Yeah, let's see if he does it. And he's probably not going to do it because he's just been corrected two times in a row for doing that behavior. Yep, that's okay. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. All right. So what has happened there is, and if you saw his body language, he wasn't happy. He's like, that was not fun. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to express to him is jumping up on people is not fun, okay? Because it may not be fun for your guests. You know, they may have frail skin, they may have on really fancy clothing, and he's got big muddy wet paws. So right now we want him to understand that don't jump up on people. That's not fun for you, Magoo. But if you sit quietly and nice and calm, you'll get all the love and attention in the world that you want. But we haven't done enough repetitions of that yet. So that's why he shied away from her. He's like, wait a minute, I don't know. Every time I go near this girl, something bad happens to me. So we got to try to repeat that process. It normally only takes a handful of times. As you saw, he's like, eh, let me sit down here and be nice and calm instead of this jumping exercise. So I've brought out my own personal dog, Striker, here to kind of show Miss Kim what that end result we're going to eventually get to is going to look like that building of the bond that we have going on, that building of you being the most valuable thing in your dog's life here. Now, I don't want anybody to get upset and say, well, that's a really professionally trained dog. You're right. All right, it's a little unfair to use this as a judgment, but just like I'm instructing Miss Kim and just like I'm instructing all of you, I've done the exact same things that I'm showing you guys today with my dog. We just have a thousand more repetitions than anyone else. And that's the only difference between professional training and at home training. We can do it every single day over and over and over and over and over again. You just gotta catch up in your repetitions. Ready? Up here. Good boy. So what I'm gonna do to show Miss Kim on how building that bond and the value is, is I'm gonna put Striker here in a down, couche. And I'm gonna casually walk across the room. And just so everyone can know, behind the scenes of the camera here is a couple other people, there's a dog in the background, all things that he enjoys to do and say hi to. And when I call him back to me, I want him to come back to me with urgency. I want him to come back to me like this is the best thing in the world. Check him. Good boy. Up here. Yes. And just like we taught Mr. Magoo yes, we taught Striker yes. Now the other key thing I want to start showing here is I no longer have any food on me. There's no paychecks, there's no rewards. But I want you to pay attention to Stryker's body language when I do mark his behavior. Because we've done so many marks up to this point, he understands what that word means. Stryker, up here. And we're gonna heal across the room, up here. Yes. See how his body language changed? Yes. 
Good boy. Good boy. Up here. Yes. Ears up. Comes attentive. He looks for his reward. So I'm marking the behavior because he's done it so many times. Boy. So did you see there on how the value of building that marker where it is, how the body language of the dog changed the minute I said yes. I didn't give him anything, but he was like, whoa, what's going on? What did I do? What did I do? All I want to know is give it to me. Give it to me. That's what I want to start seeing with Magoo here. So try doing those exercises we did earlier again. Call his name. The minute he comes back to you, mark it with the word yes. Yep, absolutely. Lots of reward right now. Tons and tons of reward. Yes. Beautiful. Excellent. I'm going to walk away. Wheel him in. Come on, come on, come on. There's no options here. Keep coming. It's okay. He's calm. You can forward him. Yes. Let's not look for too many steps right now, okay? Back this way. Call him over. Call him over. Look out. Good. Okay. Yes. Good. And now we're going to add in just a little bit of distraction for you here, okay? Now Magoo definitely enjoys being around other dogs, correct? Yes. He loves other dogs. He likes to play with them, right? So dogs may be a little bit more valuable than you are, right? Unfortunately. So we're going to become more valuable than those dogs right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my dog over and I'm gonna be nice and calm over here and I want you to continue those exercises like nothing is going on, like there's no dog in the picture. Okay, yep. Couché, couché. Reel them in, reel them in. Yes, beautiful, good. Okay, keep going, make enough distance, perfect. Anytime he's near you, I want you to mark it. Look up. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Couché. Call him over, call him over, call Look him up. over, call him over. Look up. Good. Don't allow him, yes. don't allow him to make contact with the dog. Couché. Couché. Um, the reason being is remember we were talking about your guests um, ignoring him? So even him going over there and being like, hey buddy. That's the reward for him there. That's what he's doing. Okay. So if we don't, even if he gets the right here and you're like, pop, back to you. He doesn't ever get the reward of going to say hi to the dog. Got okay. It. Okay. There you go. Call him over to you. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Look out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Up here. Awesome. Push it. Let's go. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Couple more. Let's go. Foy. Let's go. Yes. Good. Watch your, your, your tone, you don't, have, don't yell, just normal tone with him. Yep, save the yelling for when we need it. it. You know, think about Magoo's running towards the traffic. I'd rather you, Magoo, then, than right now. Because if we always yell at him, yelling is the standard. So let's keep it here for right now and save that for when we ever need it, okay?